Well, happy International Dog Day, and I'm sure most of you are aware of that by the flurry of photos that have been sent in to us throughout the day today. You know, we love our dogs in the 208, and since we aren't worldwide just yet, we're going to focus our attention on the Gem State. Reader's Digest says the most popular dog breeds in Idaho, let me guess, Labradors? Yep. Goldens and German Shepherds. But it's a beagle in Cottonwood that's up north in Idaho that you could say is drawing the most attention in the state and from all over the world. Back in 2017, we took a trip to a bed and breakfast on the Camas Prairie. Nestled in a town of just 900, along Highway 95, is a sight that is more than just a must see. He is, isn't he? It's a can't miss. Those ears are. Uh... It's Dog Bark Park, and he is. Sweet Willie. The Beagle is the brainchild of Francis Conklin and Dennis Sullivan, a bed and breakfast that draws people to the Camas Prairie to sleep in the belly of this 30-foot beast. Yes, I know. <laughs> it was Dennis who started them on this canine career. And the dog is just my favorite. He spent 25 years as a building contractor, then followed his heart to the arts and taught himself. So I just kept carving until finally I got something that people would identify. To use a chainsaw. Closer to a dog than an aardvark. His hard work led to a quick shot at QVC, the home shopping channel, in 1995. And they, they purchased 10,000 of our dogs. And that was the beginning of Dog Bark Park. Two of us. An idea. Francis and I. Decided over dinner one night that neither thought was far-fetched. Um, no. We've been together now <laughs> five years. She understood yeah. a little <laughs> loopy. A three-month project took Dennis about four years to complete. I wanted to enjoy the process of building it. A true labor of love. Simply that. Now entering his 15th summer, Sweet Willie, seen here alongside iconic edifices like the Eiffel Tower and publications from around the planet, is now a standard stop for quirky world travelers and local school kids. Mr. Engeldahl, yes. one of the teachers then. Tours have graced the grounds for 20 years. So those kids stop now, we're in college. Let's make a big U. Here they'll hear about the carving studio, <laughs> where they've made more than 34,000 wooden dogs of all sizes and breeds. This is one that's been carved already. But the big moment comes. All right, if you'll follow me up, we'll. With the climb. Go up the stairs. Yep. to Willie's two-room retreat, where the kids are fed facts about the hound-covered headboard. This might be the only place you can sleep with 26 dogs and still get a good night's rest. <laughs> and learn the bathroom is appropriately housed in Willie's hind end. I know, it's silly, isn't it? It's a standard question for Francis, who every once in a while can see the silliness in this noble and absurd undertaking. You go, I can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> that this is um, where my life's gone. It feels so right. <laughs> All these years later, Dennis doesn't argue with that logic. It's a magic kind of place that we've just had the privilege of stepping into. Brian Holmes. And it's just amazing, and I never, uh, really, I never tire of it. Idaho's News Channel 7.